Sean Muller. All right, we have a shocking story tonight you're going to see only here on PIX11. A Long Island woman tied up in a web of confusion and mistrust ended up in a psychiatric ward. Thanks for staying with us on this Thursday. I'm Tamson Fidel. I'm John Muller. The bank executive says she was held against her will. PIX 11's Nicole Johnson joining us now with more details. Nicole. Well, John and Tamson, it's an ordeal we frankly found hard to believe. So we checked out Cam Brock's story, and what happened to her may surprise you, or at least raise some questions. He held on to me, and then the doctor stuck me in the arm, and then I was on a stretcher, and then I just woke up to them taking my clothes off, specifically my underwear. And then I was, I went back out again. When I woke up the next day, I felt like I was in a nightmare. I didn't, I didn't understand why that was happening to me. What was happening, Cam Brock says, was troubling. Very troubling. Her ordeal spelled out in this lawsuit filed in federal court. The bank executive claims she was arrested, committed, and held against her will here at Harlem Hospital's psychiatric ward. But why? How did this nightmare begin? It started uptown in Harlem. Brock cruising in her BMW, music pumping, when suddenly an NYPD officer pulled her over. He said, why are you driving without your hands on the wheel? And I said, I was just dancing. I'm at the light, you know? And he just asked me to get out the car. Brock was detained and taken to the 30th precinct. She says she had no idea why. Were they questioning you? What was going on when no, you were in that precinct? No, they didn't question me at all. They just put me to sit down. And I was watching everyone else go through the normal, you know, being lined up, being uh, fingerprinted. I didn't get any of that. I was just waiting. After a long wait at the precinct, Brock was released. No charges filed. But she was told to return the next day to pick up her car. That's when things took a dramatic turn. It started when she showed up here at this police substation instead of the precinct. The lawsuit claims police reacted with insults and disbelief that Brock could possibly own a BMW. I just felt like from the moment I said I owned a BMW, I was looked at as a liar. They put me in handcuffs and they said because um, I need to just be in handcuffs and they're going to take me to my car. So I said, okay, whatever it's going to take to get to my car. Then EMS approached me. And they said, you know, we're going to take you to your car. And I'm like, in the ambulance? I'm going to a car in my, in an ambulance? I'm going to my car in an ambulance? I was just so confused. She took that ambulance to Harlem Hospital. And You're in handcuffs. In handcuffs, in the emergency room. And then at that point, when I realized what was happening. Brock was committed to the psych ward at Harlem Hospital. They forced me to take medication. PIX11 obtained Brock's hospital records from her attorney. The doctor's diagnosis, Brock suffered from bipolar disorder and psychotic behavior, a claim Brock's attorney disputes. She has absolutely no history of mental illness, okay? To brand her as being mentally ill for the sole reason that she claims to own a BMW, which she in fact owns, to claim that she's a businesswoman, a banker, which she is, is something that is absurd. That medication was lithium and powerful sedatives. Brock spent eight days in the hospital and released. And to make matters worse, the lawsuit says the hospital slapped her with a more than $13,000 bill. And I'm like, why am I here? You know, oh, because um, you're a danger to yourself. And I'm like, how am I a danger to myself? I was just trying to get my car. That's all I was doing. Brock's lawsuit, which names the city, the hospital, and unnamed police officers, is playing out in court. The NYPD confirmed Brock was taken into custody, but said it could not comment further. The city's law department, which handles lawsuits filed against the city, would also not comment pending litigation. Meantime, Brock admits she was frustrated about not getting her car, but says she never gave them any reason to believe she was unstable. Tamson and John, back to you. Just a really incredible story there, Nicole. I'm uh, sure we'll hear more. Thank you.